Marcus and Dave is in the kitchen and we are making comfort food. Oh, we just, yeah. So, this is an Irish comfort food. Yes. Yeah. As opposed to American comfort food? Or Australian, okay, for that matter. Okay, what would the American comfort food be? Well, I think of like, breakfast. well, I think of like fried chicken. I think of grits, because I'm Southern. I think of those uh, things. Um, I guess if I was like North, Northeast, I might think of the brown bread and the baked beans. Okay, oh, I'm, by the way, I have a bone to pick with Alison. A few weeks ago, you, <laughs> you made fried no. chicken, and I asked you to make that for me. I thought you were coming. Oh, no. It was very sad. I was hot, very upset about and it. And I bet you love seeing the picture I of that. was furious. Wasn't it gorgeous? Furious. <laughs> okay, so what are we making today? So this is definitely an Irish comfort food, and again, all week we're trying to highlight some international comfort dishes. Yeah. Um, and this one is coal cannon. Okay. I and mean, you may not have heard of it, but it's very similar to one you told me about, which is the bubble and squeak. Oh, okay. So it is comfort because it has the mashed potatoes in oh, it. Oh, nice. But coal cannon is a mixture of cabbage and mashed potatoes. I got and you. And so we're cooking a little bit of bacon. Oh, this then, is bacon? Yeah, so this is some peppered bacon that I just have in a pan. And we're going to be adding that in with our mashed potatoes. Um, and so I'm just going to saute and cook the cabbage. Well, we to turn that up a little bit. Yeah, that'd be great. And I just take a green cabbage and I'm cooking it down in that bacon dripping. You know what? Cabbage is one of my favorite things. I know, and it's so inexpensive. Oh my gosh. Um, and I think it's really underutilized in a lot of homes uh, because you just don't think about it. But it's versatile, it's very easy to cook. Um, it's again inexpensive, inexpensive, economical, and one head of cabbage will feed like an entire family uh, yeah. of six. Haven't you watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Cabbage soup? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, um, but I also have to say, you know one of my favourite dishes with cabbage? Um, corned beef and white sauce with cabbage. Yeah. Oh! It is definitely That is also comfort food. Yeah, and in, uh, new, a, new Year's e a New Year's food. That's hot, Got right? Got a little hot, yeah. I'm going to get a longer fork. You keep talking. <laughs> new Year's. Bless his heart. Um, so we are going to be sautéing up this cabbage, adding it in with our mashed potatoes. And uh, with our potatoes, I always use a Yukon Gold. You want to use a nice, like, gold potato because they are not as, um, what's the word I'm looking for, with an Idaho potato. It, it's just, they Idaho? are not watery and not as uh, starchy. This just has a nice, uh, well, where are these consistency. Grown? just a different variety. Oh, okay. So the Yukon Gold is just a nice mealy and to me makes the most rich, perfect buttery mashed potato. So is this so, something you'd be serving for breakfast comfort food? I think you could serve this any time of the day, but certainly okay. um, would be totally acceptable right. in a brunch or a breakfast Sunday. Uh, oh, Sunday, yeah. Sunday with Bloody Marys, my friend. <laughs> So um, the potatoes I just took and quartered. You can peel or you can leave them off, um, leave them on. I left them on just for convenience. And uh, boil them in water until they're nice and soft and fork tender. And then it comes to the addition of some butter, some whole milk, salt. Uh, but I want to talk about the butter for a second. Well, I also want to ask you a question. Would you ever put cream in your mashed potato? Absolutely. Uh, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Absolutely, but yeah, whole milk or cream. Yep. Um, okay, so I want to talk about the butter because this, again, is an Irish comfort dish. Oh. And you have to use a good Irish butter. There's nothing well, I've like I've never it. heard of Irish butter. Well. Have you got an Irish cow out the back? You <laughs> milk and make the butter? No, but <laughs> Irish butter is all grass-fed. It is all just like the highest quality. I mean, you can tell by looking expensive. at the color of it. Actually, it's really not compared to what the cost of just normal butter is now. It's continued to go up, so this is not really that much more. Yeah. Um, you know, I got this at Kroger, and for the longest time, I didn't know that they even carry, had Kerrygold butter, but I found it, and it's not with all the other butters. Okay. They keep it in with the cheese because it's of that great quality that oh. they keep it over in the cheese section okay. with, like, your goat cheese and your, like, fresh uh, homemade I got cheeses. You. So. We're going to add... Oh, all that? Oh, honey. Like a quart Again, of butter? Again, comfort food is not oh. necessarily low-calorie food. <laughs> 
So this is going to get mixed in, and um, there's this Irish saying talking about um, oh. putting a fork in the lake, and uh, a friend of mine, Barbara, came and did an Irish class, and you just let the butter Sounds sit. Sounds good. The butter just sits on top, hey, and basically we, just We need to finish in. this off, my friend. If you want to find out more information add about this, but just all of that? Yes, add it oh, in. If you want to find out more information about this, head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. It'll all be there. We'll be back after this short oh. break, everyone.